Hey hi everyone, this is Mukesh Otwani once again from learn-information.com. In this lecture, we are going to see how we can use the by class from Selenium. So in the last lectures, you must have seen we are getting this warning in the uh, console, right? Even it is working, but still we are getting this warning and this warning is saying find element by star. It means whether you're using ID name, class name or any direct methods which is available right now. These are deprecated. So kindly use find element instead. Okay, so I'm going to show you a very uh, quick way how we can use it and internally how this by class is using all these locators. It's going to be very interesting. So let me show you once. This is what we have written in the last lecture. So in case if you haven't gone through my previous lecture, please go ahead and watch that video where we discussed everything where we already discussed about these web elements, right? How do we use these methods? How do we use um, different locators? And we have simply optimized our code. Now we are just going to, okay, there's one more file. I'm going to delete it. I was trying something here. So let me show you how you can fix this warning. So first of all, I'm just going to create another class and let me make it three. And uh, let's do one thing. I'm simply going to comment these three statements. Okay. I'm going to use again, find element. Like I'm going to use this name locator, ID locator and class name, but with the help of by class. So first of all, we need to import a by class. So what we will do again, we will type from selenium dot web driver dot common. And now if you see, we have a by class here. So I'm going to use this by class. So just import this by class now. Now the interesting fact, if you just open this by class, just put mouse over and uh, press control button from the keyboard. So you can see it says, it is a class which have a set of supported locator strategy. The moment you click here, it is having all the eight locators. So you can see it has ID, class, uh, XPath, link text, partial link text, name, tag name, class name, and CSS selector. That's all, nothing else in this class. And for each um, locator, you have a dedicated value, right? Now let's see how do we use it. So, Instead of calling these direct method, now you can just say find element. So it is going to ask you by and the value. So now we have used this, uh, imported this by class. So I will say by dot and let's take this name. So when the moment you put name, now you need to also provide the value, right? We have seen it will accept uh, three argument. So self is by default, it will pass. Second is it is going to ask uh, the by reference and the third one will be the value, right? So we don't provide this explicitly. It get passed internally. We are only passing by class uh, reference and the value. So okay, let me go to this class and the value which we have is this one, right? Text username. In case if you're getting confused, let me open this application first so that you can just refer from the scratch. Just open this web application. Just right click and click on inspect. So this value, right? Text username, text password. So right now I'm using this name attribute, which is actually a selector here. So I will say by dot name. I will just provide the value and I will simply say dot send keys. This one. So earlier we were using find element by name directly. There's a method. Now this is going to get deprecated. It's already deprecated, but still we're using Selenium for alpha. But once we have the stable version, this will be deprecated. So instead of using this, we are using find element with by class. So we say by dot name, which is internally going to return this one. And we are just passing the value and send case. Very easy. Same thing we can do here. So again, you come and just type driver dot find element by dot. You will see we have an ID. The moment is an ID. We also need to provide the value. So value is this, which is text password. But let's take it from here so that you should not get any confusion. So this is the one text password. 
and now I will just say send keys and admin123 perfect now let's do the same thing for class name as well driver dot find element by dot you can see we have a class name and here we'll provide the class name and we will call our click method so for login button the class if you see we have a class called button that's all now this time when you run your code you will not get any warning okay let's right click run and it will simply perform these three operation and it is going to close our browser it will be very quick so just pay attention here did you see login username password and logged in and this time if you see on the console you're not getting any warning it says exit zero it means it was successful clear i hope you got the point here but now i just want to make a small statement here so guys if you see internally what is happening the moment you say by dot name it is going to return this name right so my question is instead of writing by dot name can i use this directly is it possible let's see so i just okay let me do one thing first of all let me copy and let me comment it comment this one so instead of using by dot name so if i just go and copy this one which is actually is the final value which will be coming the moment you call by dot name can we do like this answer is yes okay let's try the same thing for this one as well if i say by dot id what id returns it returns only id both are in small letters so instead of writing this you can also write direct id here and you will see there's no change in the output sorry just type id and when i say by dot class name you can see we got class space name now let's try this so driver dot find element in double quotes pass the class name and when it comes to value just type button and dot click so just comment this one and just run this okay so you can see how easy it is to just use find element use the by class okay even if you don't use by class you can go in this approach right you if but in that case you just need to remember the exact the values right which is these values so you can see the chances are very high when you try to remember this you might do a small mistake like you will do the capital l capital d you might miss a space you might miss a space between link and between text so that is the reason selenium guys have created a dedicated class with these date locators so instead of passing these values you just say by dot these and it will work okay that's a quick video but very interesting very useful please try i will still recommend you to use by class because here in this case you need to remember but when you use by class just say by dot and use the respective locators okay so in the next lectures we will also see a few more locators that we haven't covered so far i hope this session was useful if yes then just like this video and in case if you're new to this channel then make sure you subscribe and in case if you find any other issue let me know in the comment section and i will see you in the next video have a nice day bye bye